So there's a new super rare blueprint in Modern Warfare 3 called Redacted. And once again, it looks really cool. So you guys already know. I need it! The way you unlock this though is quite difficult, especially since you have to do all of this in one game. You have to hop into Rebirth Island, complete three Easter eggs. Each one requires various different steps. And to make this even more difficult, I'm going to be doing all of this solo. Wish me luck. Now for the first one, we need to get into a secret office and we need to get the key card in factory. So let's do that. Also, the part that I forgot to mention is the fact that these lobbies at the moment are the most sweaty thing I've ever experienced. But let's break this, pick up the ID badge, and now we have to run all the way across the map. Yep, okay. Rebirth lobbies right now are nothing to play with. So I've got to... Oh, people are already over there. How fantastic. Okay, maybe I should get a weapon in here before I start doing anything else. Because what we have to do is get to this building right here. And clearly there's people here. Get a weapon. Thank you. Oh, a sniper. Fantastic. I really wish I could just ignore all of... Um, we'll get you out of here, buddy. Now, I'm just going to keep it pushing. This door's open, which I'm not a huge fan of. Ah, no! Oh, my. What was that? He's got his stuff, too, at level 49. I don't know. That wasn't him, by the way. Why well, don't... Oh, he didn't take the ID. Okay, we might be good then. So what we do is walk up these stairs right here and we scan the ID badge. Let me in. Now we're in here. Look at this. And we can turn on the power, just like you would in zombies and you get a UAV. That's about it. But now we need to work on the next step. That's the first Easter egg. The second Easter egg is over here in chemical. Let's pop this UAV, see if... Okay, of course, there's a bunch of people here. How fantastic. Basically, there should be a code on the wall on each of these floors, I believe. So if we get to this floor, two. You can see W, two. And there should be one on the next floor as well. I'm literally so scared scared right now there's so many people here there should be one on this floor as well i believe it's in here okay w2 x6 that was him that was the same guy that guy is so sus give me your stuff thank you i don't remember what the code was though x6 x6 w2 so now we go over over here are we safe? And in this room, W2X6A8. W2X6A8. So now you can see all of the signs here. And we have to turn on or reset the water level. Let's do that. And now we have to match the code on these. <laughs> you can see the numbers right here. So one of them should change all three. We need to get to W... Okay, I don't really know how to do this. I'm really just guessing right now. Let me reset this. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. This part is uh, a little bit confusing, I'm not going to lie. I think we need to get to X5. And then we can change this one on its own. Yeah. And then we increase this one, which changes all three. We did it. I think we did it. That gives us adorable gas mask. So that one's done. I hear someone. He's right there, and he's got a riot shield. Nope. Nope, I'm leaving you alone. You should have left me alone, buddy. You should have left me alone. So that's the second Easter egg. But now we need to get in here. Now, I'm really scared people are here. So I'm going to put on the double gas mask because the, the gas is coming in. And this is the final part right here. So what we do is look at this computer screen and we have to read off the percentages. Highest starts first. So you can see this bottom one L is the longest. So 49, 47, 114. 49, 47, 114. Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> four, seven, one, one, four, three. And this should open, right? Which is good, but we should be able to. There's all three of the Easter eggs, all green. We should be able to lift island lockdown 
And that gives us this bad boy. An advantage UAV, but also the burst AR, the redacted blueprint. Look at this. But can we get out the gas first? Secret challenge, blueprint unlocked. First try, solo. How beautiful. We actually did that. So let's try and play out the rest of this game with this weapon just to see what we can do. I feel like this guy knows I'm here somehow. Okay, I didn't expect you to be on top of that. I'm not going to lie. Bro, why does everyone know where I am? He popped a UAV. No shot. And of course, my loadout is on the roof. <laughs> Some plates. Let's get a UAV. Okay, the advanced UAV is gone now. I don't know how we managed to land. I want to see if we can get our stuff back because there's no way he actually picked up the redacted weapon. <laughs> yeah, we still got it. Might not be the best setup. We are going to see how this looks in multiplayer. Don't worry. Just so we can get a proper look at it. But that was a laser. Oh, that was the same guy too. That was the same guy. I mean, we, yeah, yeah, die out. <laughs> That's kind of why this Easter egg is so difficult. Just because of how intense the lobbies are. I'm done with this, man. Bro, I'm out, man. You know why this guy is playing like this? It's because the nuke is available in Resurgence now. So he is just going for wins. And look how aggressive he's playing. This is ridiculous. Did you see how fast he threw the stuns and the thermite grenades? How does that even make sense? Bro, this guy is cracked out. No, this is broken. This guy is cracked out of his mind. I don't know what sensitivity he's playing on, but <laughs> look at this. Wait, what was that? No, what? Look, he sees that guy. Don't tell me he... Oh my goodness. I thought he hit that. Look, and he just picked up another thermite. Like I said, we are going to hop into multiplayer to look at the blueprint, but this is too entertaining. I cannot just skip past this. Oh. He missed the thermite. Bro. Wait. How many has he got? I'm sick of this guy, bro. This is an easy... Bro, how is he moving so fast? I don't like this. The fact that you can just stare at them with the riot shield and then randomly just throw a thermite. Look, he can throw the stun. Oh, he lost. He sold. He saw, he left again. <laughs> That's what I needed to see. So now if we go over to, what is it? The DG, is that an assault rifle? Yeah, the DG 56, we can see it right here. The redacted blueprint. And you know what? For a free blueprint, it's actually not too bad. I do want to see how it looks with camos over the top of it though. Oh, it just covers it all. That is kind of a letdown. Oh, wait, it has a weird texture to it. Whoa, whoa. I mean, if the DG was meta, this would be sick, but unfortunately it's not. But it does add a weird pattern to the mastery camos, as you guys can see. Oh, so part of it is totally inverted. I actually like that idea. I mean, it's all right. Like, And here it is. I took the scope off of it because who wants that scope? Let's be honest. But it actually looks pretty cool. I'm not mad at this one at all. It kind of fits the theme of it too. What? Man, I swear, since season three came out, these lobbies have been something else. <laughs> what I will say is though, and people seem to think I was lying, but the 12v12 playlist when it was here, because unfortunately it's not here anymore, those playlists would let you find players that were not very good. I'm telling you. And people would genuinely be confused as to why and how I was finding lobbies like that, but it was just those playlists. I don't know what it was. I think that we discovered that it was because of the amount of players on each team. It just made it pretty difficult to find the same skill of player to fill the whole lobby. And I think that's why those lobbies felt a little bit easier because when it comes to you know regular 6v6 it's pretty easy to find that amount of players i don't know all i know is those playlists were a lot easier and at the moment they're not in the game sensational i'm not gonna lie getting kills with this burst weapon really makes me want a burst meta in warzone
Ah, uh, do you guys remember the AUG, the M16 from Cold War in Warzone? That was beautiful times, man. Here it is with priceless camo on it. You can kind of see the backside of it is inverted and the front side is regular priceless, which is really nice. I do like the aspect of blueprints, not knowing how camos will look on the top of it. Sometimes it can make the craziest combinations. So make sure you guys go try and get this blueprint. I'm not going to lie. The more that people find out about those Easter eggs, the more difficult it's going to get. It's the same with every single Easter egg that gets put in the game. As soon as everyone starts to know about it, you're going to start getting more and more people landing in those spots, trying to get the ID card, trying to figure out the different codes and stuff like that, which just makes it more and more difficult. And again, with the lobbies being so twisted and so sweaty and competitive, I'm not going to lie. You guys might want to get this out of the way as soon as possible, to be honest. Ooh, a little one burst. No! Did I get the advanced UAV? I did. Here it is with the Serpentonite camo, which actually doesn't look too bad whatsoever. You can see the backside again is all black, whereas the front is green. Let's call it this advanced UAV. I don't know how we managed to get it in this lobby. I really hope that there's more Easter eggs to discover in Rebirth Island because I think Fortune's Keep had a lot more Easter eggs. So I'm hoping there's still more that haven't yet been discovered. Those are my favorite parts of new Warzone maps coming out, by the way. Wait, let me get outside because we've got it with Interstellar as well. Look at this. Interstellar Cabo. Looks... I mean, interesting. The back is all black with some of like, I don't know, the specs. And then the front is actually Interstellar. When I see blueprints like this with camos over the top of them, I wonder if they take into consideration how certain blueprints will look with camos over the top. I know they definitely do with some of them. For example, that blueprint that was just a clear weapon with a skeleton inside. When you put the camos on that, it would literally just change the skeleton in the gun. Craziest thing ever. I'm sure that was a conscious decision to do that. Also, bear in mind, you don't have to do the Easter egg solo. That's just what I like to do to challenge myself, but it's not necessary at all. It would make it easier if you hopped in with a squad. Oh. Oh my goodness. I didn't even have my hands on the controller properly. <laughs> but yeah, that's enough Modern Warfare 3 for me today. Oh yeah, a lot of you guys were wondering why I didn't drop a video on this Godzilla X Kong Battle for Hollow Earth event. Because the final reward is a camo, the heavy metal camo. The reason why I didn't, first of all, yesterday was my girlfriend's birthday, so I didn't play at all. But mainly because the camo is flipping terrible. I saw them tweet it out and yeah, I had no motivation to get it. it. Yeah, not at all. Before I let you guys go, I want to give a huge shout out to Boohoo Man. You guys can go check out all the clothing using the link in the description. There's a bunch of really nice stuff on there and my code Bradders will get you an extra discount at checkout. So go make use of that. But yeah, man, I had fun unlocking this thing right here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you go do this before it gets too hectic and I'll see you guys in the next one.